To solve this question, we're going to need to take our known variables, in this case x, y, and z, and plug them into this equation to solve for our missing variable w. Let's start by making those substitutions. We have x, which is equal to 2, times y, which is equal to negative 3, plus z, which is also equal to negative 3. And all of that is squared over z, which is negative 3, minus y, which is negative 3, over x plus z, or 2 plus a negative 3. All of that is equal to w. So now we can start to simplify from left to right. Starting with our numerator up here, we need to fix our parentheses first. So a negative 3 plus a negative 3 will give us, and I'll change colors for this, will give us negative 6. So we'll have 2 times negative 6 squared over negative 3. I'll go ahead and write everything else out as well. This, we can go ahead and simplify our signs. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So this is 2 minus 3 down here. I'll change colors again. Now we can resolve our exponent. So negative 6 times itself, or squared, would give us a positive 36. So now we have 2 times 36 over negative 3 minus negative 3 over, and we might as well take care of this right here, 2 minus negative 3 would give us a negative 1. Change colors one more time. And now we can continue to simplify. In our numerator up here, 2 times 36 would give us a positive 72. So we'll have 72 over negative 3 minus negative 3 divided by a negative 1 would give us a positive 3. So now we just have to simplify this last fraction and do one more subtraction and we will be finished. How many times can 3 go into 72? We can pull uh, the numbers off to the side and do a little bit of long division. 3 can go into 7 two times. That would be 6. We subtract. It leaves us with 1. Bring down the 12. 3 goes into 12 four times evenly with no remainder. So that fraction will simplify down and I will put that information up here. 72 over negative 3 simplifies down to be a negative 24 minus 3. And negative 24 minus 3, subtracting a positive, is the same as adding a negative. So if it helps, you can think of it like negative 24 plus a negative 3, which would give you negative 27, making answer choice D our correct answer.